Hey guys, it's your girl Jay here and today's topic I wanted to talk a little bit about some of my video that I recorded yesterday or this morning or yeah this morning. It was like twelve o'clock in the morning or something about um what I'll be doing in five days is on June third I will be having my vertical sleeve gast gastrectomy. I think I pronounced it right. Um yeah, I'm I'm uh, not nervous, not excited, but just I'm very nonchalant right now. <laughs> like feelings are switched off about it. Um, I decided to do it because I've been big my whole life, and since I was a kid, I've been teased about being bigger than everybody else. So it's like it's just very last resort after blah blah no nah, nah, I'm 30 so after over after 25 years of being overweight and made fun of and trying to lose weight since elementary school um I think it's finally time for me to be happy for me to live life to its fullest for me to be, and I and I don't want this to come off as in the wrong way or anything, but in my opinion, to be normal. There is really nothing wrong with being a big girl and loving yourself and loving who you are. There's nothing wrong with that. But there is something wrong where when you go out, you, you have to look for seats that you could fit in or look for seats that you won't break or just fit in it's just just my whole st my whole life has been about I've I've been made fun of I I've hurt myself physically because of the mental of what I had in my head um I I overthink and sometimes when I overthink bad things happen so it's not a good thing um but being teased since I since I was a kid, a lot of stuff has happened to me. And excuse me if the bright I have a I have a lamp as my lighting source right now. Cause again, I record my videos mostly at night, like after I come home from work and stuff like that. So um, being big my whole life, being teased my whole life, I don't know any other lifestyle. And to me, I've I've had had a period of where I was, where I did the whole fat acceptance and where I was proud to be a big girl and I showed it and I flaunted it and all but it comes a time in somebody's in a person's life when they got to realize that this is not healthy um for over for 10 years or so or like nine eight nine years when you hear you have high blood pressure and you're you're in your 20s taking blood pressure medicine that is something that older people and like you know like what 20 something year old do you know take blood pressure medicine that's not the business um um early off signs early signs of arthritis like early arthritis like again 20 something years old and you have early arthritis really like and i have and i have early signs of arthritis in my back in the middle of my back and in my knee and a little bit and some in my hip and my knee is understandable because I twisted my knee in 08 playing tennis doubles tennis and I twisted my knee so I understand that part because it's an injury it's a sports injury you get you get some bumps and bruises when you play sports and it's just it's just too much and the clothes I'm tired of buying men's clothes women's clothes I, I, ooh, let me fix that, um, women's clothes is always a hit and a miss with me because I have really big thighs and I could tell by looking at a pair of pants, like I could tell by looking at it if I could fit it or not and I'm always right, I am always right. When it comes to visually looking at pants to see if I could fit it or not. People don't believe me when I tell them I can't fit that. Oh, yes, you can. I'll fit you. I'll fit you. Go in the dressing room. I can't even put on one leg. 
Like, it's my size. Yes, it's my size. But it won't fit my thigh. It won't come up. It will come a little bit past my knee and that's about it. Any other time, like, I'll show them. It doesn't fit. Really? I thought it would fit you. It's your size. Ugh. Really. It's my size, but I could tell by looking at it. That's why when I go to stores like Lane Bryant, Avenue, Ashley Stewart, I do, well, not Ashley, I never shop at Ashley Stewart. Because I don't like Ashley Stewart. They don't even come in my size. I'm a 26, 28, and they go to a 24. What kind of plus size are you, like, Ashley Stewart, what kind of plus size are you going for, like, really? But Lane Bryant always has my size. Avenue always has my size. So, Ashley Stewart was always in the middle when it comes to when it comes to fashion. Lane Bryant was always number one. Avenue was kind of like third. Because their fabric is a little bit cheaper. But they are a little bit more affordable than Lane Bryant. But Lane Bryant got the best clothing. Like, their clothing do last a little longer. Um, but I will always do the stretch, the stretch test with the jeans or the, or the work pants or the pants. Um, if it has stretch to it. If it doesn't have a stretch to it, I don't even attempt buying it. It has to have some elasticity for me in order for me to consider about consider buying it. So I'm tired of doing the stretch test. I am very tired of doing the stretch test. I am tired of this I'm tired of like looking at all these clothes and knowing that I can't fit it. I'm tired of asking, is this a fat friendly chair? Like really fat friendly means a fat friendly chair means it's a chair that if my fat ass sits in it it won't creak it won't buckle let me say it again it will not creak it will not buckle it will not fold it will not break when my fat ass sit in it and i'm tired of asking like I'm tired of trying to find chairs when I go into places that I could fit in because I know I have hips. I know I'm a curvy woman, but when I sit, these hips spread. So with that being said, I know if I could fit in a chair or not. And like I went on a trip to Jamaica my very first time out of state, my very first time out of the country, and they didn't have any chairs. This one place where it was a buffet and it was open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they didn't they had this one type of chair and one type of chair only. And I had to con and I had to like see if they have any other chairs and they didn't. So I had to kinda squeeze my hips in there. And I will complain like it hurts. Like come on, like you squeezing your hips and chairs and I have come I have come up with bruises on my hips. Because I tried to fit in the chairs. Example, at the Barclay Center. In the 200 section. I come out with bruises all the time on my hips. Because I fit, I, I squeeze in the chair. Those are not hip, big hip friendly seats. I'm telling you. If you're tall and if you're really big in the hip area like I am. It's going to be really hard because... The armrests do not move, and the pointiness in the armrest digs in my thighs, and it hurts. I am tired of hurting trying to fit in seats that everybody else and their mama sits in. I am, I am tired. I am tired of searching for clothes. I am tired of taking up more than one seat on the bus or on the train. I am tired of making... I'm just tired. It's, it's, it's exhausting being big is exhausting and it I don't yes you love the skin you're in yes you be happy on who you are but no it is not okay to live a life of miserable to live a miserable life and to not not say not so much miserable but of a of a, a I'm not sad but it's just it's exhausting it really is, it's exhausting on trying to fit in in a world and in a, in a society that doesn't even accept you. I am tired of trying to live my life and be who I, and be, I am tired 
<laughs> I'm tired of walk. I'm tired of being tired of from walking up a flight of stairs. I am tired of being tired of just being tired. If that makes any sense. So that's why I am doing this. I don't care what anybody else says. And what kind of question is it of, have you tried exercising? What the fuck? No, I just decided to skip all the other options and have them cut me. That's what I decided to do. Yes, I decided to have them cut me. No, duh. I did try exercise. I did try exercising. I did try dieting. I try. You want to hear my list of things I tried since elementary school? I have tried the dieting. I have tried I have tried the dieting. I have tried the exercising. I have tried the diet pills. I have tried the diet teas. I have tried the detox drinks. I have tried not eating. And that was in junior high school for a week or two. I did not eat breakfast or lunch, but because I was so hungry, I would overeat on dinner. Um I've tried the throwing up method. Yes. The I tried the whole bulimia thing. I tried the whole anorexic thing. I tried the pills, the shakes, the this, the, the that. I have tried it. With me, it's been consistency. And I get frustrated because I'm doing it by myself. So I know with this surgery, I am by myself. But I will not fail this time because I don't need anybody to do it with me. It's the tool that... Oh, and I even tried out for the biggest loser. Not once. But twice. And I didn't get it. There are people there smaller than me. But I guess because I didn't have a story. I didn't have like a story story to tell. Like I thought it was about having people lose weight. Like I have over 200 pounds to lose. Why is why am I being picked? Like why am I not being picked? Like come on. But whatever. They got their story. They got their people. And I kind of heard bad things about the biggest loser anyway. So it's like whatever. Like, I don't want Stockholm Syndrome. I really don't. If you don't know what Stockholm Syndrome is, if I could spell it, I would. But I don't want that. So, last resort, I tried out for the biggest loser of the episode that came on either this year or later last year. That it just came on. That was the, that was the season I tried out for. So, I didn't get that. So, surgery, it is. Because it's... When you... Losing weight is hard. It's hard enough. But doing it, so, this will be the tool that I need to get everything done. Um, I saw some gastric sleeve videos out there, and you gave me hope. And thank you for this woman I met at my cousin's baby shower, my cousin's baby's first birthday party. Um, she had it done and she said it's the best thing that she has ever done and she recommends if you need it. Like, she needed it and she lost 60, 70 pounds so far and she had it in September. And that's when I started my whole doctor visits and everything and all the testing that I, and all the testing that I needed. So, she looks amazing and she gave me some really good tips and, and like, some advice. And I, I'll take it because it's not up to... It's not up to Joe Schmo over there. It's up to you. It's up to me on how I want to live my life. Any man out there that loves a big girl, thank you. Thank you for loving the big curvy girls. Thank you so much. But do not tell me there's nothing wrong with me when there is something wrong with me. You look at me as perfection. I think of me as a health hazard. I want to live as healthy and happy as I can as long as I can on this earth so there's nothing like if there's something I can do to help that I will do it I want to live I don't want it's it's just a matter of I want to live and that's what I'm choosing I am choosing to live I'm living for me I am living I'm living for me There's no one else I can live for but me. Like, what else can I say? Like, all all you big girl lovers out there, you're perfect the way you are. No, I'm not. I'm not. You don't walk with hurt knees. You don't walk with hurt ankles. You don't walk out of breath up a flight of stairs. You don't. 
you you're not me you don't have high blood pressure you don't have borderline you're not borderline diabetic you don't have asthma you don't have allergies you're not me i'm not perfect visually you think i'm perfect i'm not ugly i know that i have my ugly moments from time to time like right now i think i look ugly but whatever but i'm not like I, oh <sighs> i could talk like i could talk almost all day about this and i could try to explain but i really i really don't feel like it anymore it's my decision i'm doing what's best for Jeanne which is me, who is me, and I could only make myself happy. I'm not here to make anybody else happy. I'm here to make myself happy. So that is what I'm going to do. I am going to have my surgery on June 3rd, 2015. I don't know what time yet because they will tell me that on a Tuesday. I still got more protein to get because, again, I have not been eat. I've, I've, I cheated. I had, a, I had Frank and some tuna salad, and I was hungry. So I didn't eat, but I got some more Slim Fast. I need more protein powder because <sighs> for two weeks I'll be on an all liquid diet. So I need as much protein drinks as I can so I can get that protein in me so I won't have any protein deficiency. Um, I'm not missing the sugar much. I'm not really craving sugar. I am more craving salty stuff. Like I'm craving some Lay's potato chips and you know... Lay's potato chips are the bomb. So, I want some Lay's potato chips. I might just take some salt, sprinkle it on my hand, and lick the shit. Like, that's how much I want salt right now. Um, oh, there's some concerns I have, like, my periods. But I'll do that in another video. My vagina flap. I'll do that in another video. It's gonna be some crazy shit. And I hopefully... Y'all will go on the journey with me, and hopefully it will be something. So, hopefully I can do more of these videos. Hopefully I get new cameras, new phones, and everything. So, my videos will be of greater quality as it is. Um, it may not be an HHD, but I have what I have when I have it. So, that is it. Um, oh, I gotta get a food scale. Yeah. I didn't buy one. I gotta think. I gotta do that again. Okay. All right. I'm gonna stop now. I wanna go back to some YouTube videos. I was watching Netflix, but the Xbox connected, disconnected from the internet. Boom. So with that being said, I'm going to go. I'm going to upload this. It's gonna take forever on my Wi-Fi because many when there's many devices connected to the Wi-Fi, that shit runs slow. And there is no files. In this area of bed -Stuy. In this area of bed -Stuy, There is no files. Oh! I gotta, do, I, I gotta do another video. I was supposed to go to the YouTube 10th anniversary party this Wednesday. But I didn't go. I was I was tired. I didn't feel like going. I was tired. I didn't feel like going. I had pre-admission testing. I had more pre-admission testing. I had more testing. Testing. All this testing is for a simple procedure. Uh, but it is what it is. I decided to do this in order to live healthy. So with that being said, I will finally say God bless. Have a good night. And I will talk to y'all later. I will probably see y'all either on Monday or Tuesday. I will try to record something on Wednesday. But I will do a little something, alright? So, bye.